This is a little heavy for what I need right now. I need a lighter flipping stick and I do not have one. Hello, Matt. Who are you? I'm your rod building angel. And I heard you needed a lighter blank. Follow me. Where? Turn around. We're at mud hole. Holy smokes, let's go. Come on. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. Thanks for tuning in. I am here at a very special place. For those of us who like to build rods, this is kind of like our playground. We're here at Mud Hole in Florida. I had to stop by on, on my way to one of my tournaments. Got my buddy Jake here. He's kind of the face of Mud Hole. You probably have seen him on TikTok before, and he's gonna give us a behind the scenes tour. So let's check this out. We got a lot to see, let's go. So this whole thing is our showroom. This is where anybody can come in if they know how to build a rod, if they've never built a rod before, fill blanks, talk to the customer service team, get everything they need to start rod building or take their rod building to the next level. So if a new, let's say somebody walks in, they've never built a rod before. Sure. What is your process? Like, I'd love to know how you convince them when they walk in the door to be, like becoming a rod builder. Okay. Do you bring them to the blanks first? Do you bring them to the components first? Is it a matter of like showing them some other custom made rods? Like what's the, what's the selling point to bringing somebody in that's never built a rod before to becoming a true custom rod builder? Okay, so first we talk to the person and see what they're looking for, what type of fish they go for, yeah. what situations, because some fisheries require a very specific rod that's not available on the rack for you to purchase from a store. Sure. So we figure out what they need. We ask them, is there anything you're missing in your lineup? Do you want to customize a rod? And then, yeah, we'll take them over to the rack and show them some of the beautiful rods yeah, people so, made for us. So you're actually asking them, where do you fish? What do you fish for? How do you like to fish? So that you can build a rod that meets the specifications that they love. Like I'm, I'm just looking at the different rod blanks and you've got, you know, ultralight spinning rods, drop shot rods, glass rods, crankbait. I mean, there's literally everything inshore, offshore. Everything. I mean, you guys have everything. I was. I mean, everything from like big downrigger trolling rods. I mean, like crazy <laughs> stuff that I don't even know how to use. But the point is here, I mean, there's, do you know how many blanks you have? Thousands. Like Thousands. this is ridiculous. Like I don't even know how I could come in here and go through every rod like in a little bit of time. It's really impressive. It'd be a lot. And that's the main thing. That's why we talk to them because a lot of the custom rods, they look beautiful and we build them great. But at the core of it, we want you to have the best fishing rod possible. The flashy looks yeah. at the end of the day, that's great, but we want a rod that fishes the best it can be for you and for your fishery. Yeah, this I think this is going to be one of the next steps I take. I want to build a fly rod. You do? Yeah, I think that's going to be something I got to give a try to. Some of those river smallies on fly? Dude, after watching Chris Adams do it last summer, <laughs> for sure. We'll get you set up. We'll get you set up. For sure. So we got the blanks like you saw. We have yep. the pro wrap, yep. thread stands, every thread you can imagine here. Different styles, different colors. So you can literally come in here grab two colors, put them up next to each other, put them next to a blank, pick out your components and get everything you need. 9410, I like that one. That's the one. This is this is right now, this is my go-to. This is the uh, 404 teal. You like that one? Oh my God, I love in that the, uh, In the nylon or color fast? No, in the nylon, I'm still using it. I like it that now. too. I stole yeah. that from you on my uh, ability shop I there. know, I it's saw beautiful. it, I saw it. It looks good, you got good, you got good taste. I know. You're talking about the customer service team. Anybody who's here, obviously no veto, can come yeah. see us anytime. They can also call, like you said, or email. So this is them right here. This is them. They'll the answer team. the phone. We got a team in America to talk to you anytime down here. You need questions answered about rod building, what kind of parts you need, what rod blank you need, a little bit of help on the epoxy, whatever you need, they can answer that they question. They can do it. Yeah. And that's, I think that's a valuable part to have. Anytime you're putting rods together, there are a lot of questions for a newbie. So to have somebody you can bounce those questions off of is valuable. So it's, it's cool to see. I didn't, I guess I never imagined them being store, customer service, like yep. they're gonna be answering. But that's probably important because they can, if there is a question maybe they don't know off the top of their head, they can run over and grab the part Absolutely. and figure it out right there. You need yeah. a winding check measure, they can go in the warehouse, measure the Just winding check before you yeah. get back to you. Are we gonna get to see the warehouse? Absolutely, we're gonna go see it right now actually. Nice. Let's do it. Let's yeah. do it, come on. Oh, smokes. <laughs> a lot of stuff. A lot of components, a lot of blanks. How far does that go down there? Miles. So if I put an order in, who gets the order? Is there like a desk they get a... We'll walk you through it, come on. Okay. So, 
these guys over here, yeah. they get the order printed out. They hand it off to the pickers to divide them. For so, us. so one person gets the full order. They compile the full order. Yeah, they get a paper like this with the order, and it says the part number, yeah. where it is. And that gets handed off down here, and the order gets picked with everything from these aisles, and it all gets bagged up, and then it gets taken to shipping over there. Okay. It gets packaged up, gets dropped in a bin. The postman comes and take it on the way to your house in a couple of days. Pack it. Good Lord, almost dude. always pack them the same day. I always, I always feel kind of bad because there are so many little components. <laughs> so, like, if, if I do a big batch and I order, say, 100 size 5 running guides, mm -hmm. somebody's like, one, <laughs> two, three. You're making them work for their for well, the check. It, I mean, it, it is what it is. They need to sell them in, like, packs of 10 or something. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's just thousands and thousands, hundreds of thousands of components back here. Every little winding check. You can are these all winding colors. checks? These are all just winding checks. So do you come in here a lot of times and just like, good lord, dude. It's like a kid in a candy shop, I guess. I know, but it's almost overwhelming. It's a lot of stuff. I mean, look, there's a whole wall of hook keepers right here. Thousands and thousands of hook keepers in one box. Look at that. So if I gave you an order, Jake, how fast could you fill it for me? Like, do you know this part? Like, do you know I, where everything is? I'm not the best, but our guys in here who are working here every day, <laughs> they are quicker than you'd believe. Really? Yeah, I place an order sometimes for myself and have in-store pickup. It's dang near dumb before I can walk downstairs. Really? These guys are fast. Here's your wind grips right here. I do love me some wind grips. I know you do. Color coordination. I know. Man. The only problem is a lot of times the colors are hard to get. So, like, you know how I color coordinate? Mm -hmm. So if, if they're grips I used from like five years ago, a lot of times they change the color uh, on me. Yeah. So it's like this this blue is a little lighter mm -hmm. than like the blue would have been. You got the core grips, EVA, just a few of them. Could, I could spend hours back here. Because the catalog is like so 300 hours. pages. Yeah, the catalog. pages or something. It's huge. The catalog doesn't even have everything we have in there. It's funny. You know, when I was when I was younger, I used to get the, ba the Bass Pro Cat. <laughs> oh, my God. This is, too, this, is, this is too big for my rods. When I was younger, I used to go, I don't know which one to get it. I'd get the Bass Pro Catalog. You're probably too young for this, but I'd get the Bass Pro Catalog and I'd flip through it like it's, like for hours, mm -hmm. for like days upon days. And I would <laughs> memorize all the different baits, all the other stuff. And I don't know, I don't even get that master catalog anymore. Now mm -hmm. I get the mud hole one and I'm like, I feel like I was when I was like 10. It's awesome. That's how I feel on the website. Scrolling yeah. through the pages all night. Yeah. Then my wife, my wife Sarah yells at me. She's like, what are you looking at? I'm like, mud hole. She's like, why do you need more rods? What does she say when you tell her you're looking at mud hole late at night on the computer? Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> try not to talk about mud hole at night. <laughs> so is this, all, this the shipping area then? This is the shipping area. This is where everything gets packaged up. Your blanks, your components. Take care of everything right here. So where is this all? This is all blanks. This is all extra stock. That's like all. So all the blanks the are up here stock. too. I'll show you the blank walls over, over here. Have you tried this one yet? Have you used this? Dude, HD rod rack is so sick. I was upstairs and they're designing this thing. They thought of everything, especially for the offshore guys who have the bent butt rods and LPs and those super heavy things. This thing can hold anything. It can hold 20 so this, bass rods. And there's no extra level, right? So like I put the butt in there, it holds it straight up. Yes. Yeah, so like most rod racks level. will have like a second one or a higher one, but mm -hmm. this is all floor mounted. This is the bottom and then the level that has the hole in it to hold your rods. Yeah. That's all it needs. I saw I, I saw this because this is new. This has only been like out for a couple yeah, months. We right? just released it a few yeah. months ago. I was going to say I saw it and I'm like, I need that for the basement bait shop. Well, we'll send you one to go I'm on the gonna, Well, I'm going to hold you on. Hold you up to that. I'm not going to carry it right now because it's heavy. Is it? It's durable. But I was going to we'll say, that on. was one thing. Holy cow. That's durable. It's for those big LP reels and big offshore rods you need. Oh, that's what it was kind of made for? Yeah, it's to fit that market, but well, it also but doubles could, as bass guys. Yeah, I was going to say, you can guys. fit any rod in it, though. Absolutely. Really. I feel like, did you help design this? I feel like you're really partial to this. No. Ever since watching like the, the launch of it, I feel like it's your little baby. We just made, Phil and I made some fun videos with it, but okay. I like it. It's a I saw great it, product. I saw it and I was like, I like that. It's a really good product. So I'm I'm passionate. I get well, passionate I've, about our products. I've got, and I've got a bunch of rod racks mm -hmm. and I hate every one of them. I really do. Looks like most it's of the rod wall. Most of, most of the blanks are in, huh? Yeah, we got big shipment that came in recently. A lot in stock. We got a ton of blanks right now. Holy cow. I got a lot of building I gotta do. 
You got a lot of building. We're gonna open your mind up to all the possibilities. Look at, here's, here's FP936. That's the one. This is the one I'm gonna be using this week. At Okeechobee? Yeah, I got uh, three or four of them rigged up right now. Dang. You're hoping for that cold front so you can flip all day. I am. <laughs> I got a couple of 937s rigged up too, but that's getting a little heavy. It's the only man in the world who wants a cold front in Florida. Makes I, sense though, he wants I, to flip. I, I get do. it. I do. I want them to get nice and tight, stay warm under those thick patches. I understand that. I understand. My boys love getting a package from you guys. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because we're drawing it? We, no, I don't request that. Okay. But we open it up and then they've got like an eight or nine foot box that they use as matchbox like ramps. Oh, so they cool. they like set them up and they shoot cars off of them. <laughs> That's awesome. They love them. And if I get like multiple boxes and we have them, they have like major ramps. So each bucket is in order? Yes, each bucket's in order. And then they come down the line right here, all the way down the rollers. One of our guys grabs them, packages it all up. So all these the gotta on. get filled too. And yeah. Busy day today. Do you, do you think most people, when they order, they build one rod? Like components for one rod, or is it generally more? Average order is for one rod, yes. A couple of ice rods, it looks like. We actually have a lot of ice rods we sell. It's a yeah. big market. I have, I have a lot of people asking me to build them ice rods. What else do we got? Let's take you upstairs, show you what we got going on there. Cool. If I touch that, will I lose a finger? Touch it, see what happens. <laughs> Before we go upstairs, let's check out the education center. Okay. This is where all of our rod building classes go down. Uh, so you, how often do you have rod building classes? We Holy. have one here about once a month. Oh, how many people do you have here? Usually 20 to 40. Really? Yeah, per class. Mostly local or they come from all over? Dude, people come from all over. Last weekend I went to one, kids flew from North Carolina, or they drove from North Carolina with their dad. They saw us at FFA in Wisconsin. Really? They saw us on TikTok, then bought a rod building class, drove down here, bought an RBS Pro Ultimate kit, a bunch of blanks, and drove back up eight hours just for the class. And there, that was Did they like it? Dude, they were- Are they hooked? Stoked. Yeah. They loved it. So you set up tables all over and this is just full? Yeah, all those tables back there get set up right here. Do you teach your classes? I don't, I do the social media, I TikTok them, Snapchat them. All but you got media. so you have is it the same instructors that travel because you guys like have traveling classes and yeah. online courses because a buddy of mine just took the online course and plus don't you like you can set it up too where like you go to schools don't you absolutely like high schools and do classes we try to cover all the bases so we have online classes over zoom for anyone who can't travel we have a traveling class um schedule we're going to Taunton, we're going to Boston, a bunch of different places. And it's, this but year. I, but I think they actually qualify for credits in some cases. Oh, because I was classes, talking to so. Steve yesterday, and he was like, "Yeah, he's like, you can actually set it up where in some cases it qualifies as credits for the school." So that's like, a little that's, bit different. That's crazy. Like, I would have loved that as a kid. I know we didn't have that as kids, or I mean, we're different ages, but I didn't have that in my what school. What are you saying? <laughs> I'm not trying to say nothing. I'm sorry. I didn't have that in my school. I you know, didn't have it in I yours. Know, I know. But we have a whole education program too, run by Anthony. He has like 700 schools around the world that build fishing rods in their classrooms as a class. I had no That's idea crazy. that was a thing when I was. That in would school. be awesome. As That's a the kid, that would have been awesome. But you got a bunch in the rack, huh? Yeah, we got a bunch in the rack. Those are different things going down for some different brands and people. But after the class is done and they epoxy their rods, they'll throw them in these wall dryers, and this will be filled up with custom rods drying. Everyone gets their name on it in the class. Do custom they? built by Matt That's Stephan. Cool. If you take a class, you don't need a class. You can teach a class, but I can't if you teach want a to. class. <laughs> I've seen your stuff. It's top notch. I'm getting pretty good at it. <laughs> I'm not going to toot my own horn, but Johnny, old John Cox, good old Johnny Cox, one of the best. Hundred thousand. Yep. Close your eyes. Whoa. <laughs> Look at that. Opened up for us. Let's go upstairs. And see where all the media gets made. Awesome. Cool. Check this out. Here's our catalog wall. We'll start off all the previous catalogs that you guys have gotten for Just years. Every cover? House. Every single one for the last huh. few years. One day. 10, 15 years. One day, maybe I'll be up there. That could be you. It could be. 2020, Terry, Big Show Scroggins. 2024. Well, you, you gave a cover to a skeleton? Look, I still dude, don't have a cover. Marketing. What kind Another of skeleton. How many skeletons you got on this wall? Built for a lot of old people. John Cox with, John's got crazy eyes. He's got googly eyes. That's More marketing. I can't. I don't know what to tell you. Sells a lot of rods. 
This is the marketing room. This is where we make all the catalogs, do all the digital media. The brain trust. TikTok, social media, Steve. I can feel, do you feel the brain waves coming I off feel these it. guys? Something's going on here. I'm getting creative already just walking in here. I know. Should we, should we tell them about your drain rod? My drain rod? Yeah, your drain rod. Tell the people about it? Yeah, it's a new hot product. All right. The so, fish and sewers. So what is, what is the drain rod? The drain rod. You want to know about it? I do. It I've is, heard a lot about it. An NEPS 86 MHF, which is a 72, 7.2 medium yeah. heavy fast blank. And it is the pond hopping speed worm all around just Florida rod. Pond hopping, drain fishing. If it's raining, you got to go draining with this rod in hand. So this this is this is actually going to be produced as a signature rod, right? Absolutely. That's one of the the mullet series I might call it. Is it going to say pick, essentially? Is it going to say drain rod on it? Phil actually, he made this sweet logo where it's a drain and the words are going to come out of the drain. Oh, I like so, it. Drain rod. <laughs> that I thing like is it. sick though. I Best like it. Best one blank ever. So we are there are some signature series rods coming out, some staff picks, a mm -hmm. couple of pro staff picks. Yours included. I've got a couple. I will keep you guys up to date. I'll be doing build to catch videos specifically for those. So pay attention when, when those come out. Maybe we can do a build to catch on the drain rod if I come back down. We should definitely do that. And uh, I got some insider information. I want to flip some sewer sweet. caps and fish in them. You want to? I feel like you could catch fish down here doing that. It's a big thing around here. Is it? Yeah. You just remember to put the cap back on. You can leave otherwise, it off for the next guy. Otherwise, well, that's a good point, but a car could fall down it. That would be bad. True. Are, the, what are, are these, these are for the magazine or no? This is like marketing campaigns you're doing with different publications this year. Oh, yeah. I didn't, I guess I should have read it. Ow! <laughs> Matt, you want to answer this real quick? Why? What? what? Hello. Hello. What are you doing? Well, I'm doing. I'm doing fine. Who's this? This is this is Matt Stefan. This isn't Jake. No, Matt it's not. It's not filming? Jake. We're filming. Oh my God. He was supposed to know? act like me and say it was Jake. I don't know how he didn't. Oh, catch I on was to supposed that. to. Yeah, dude, that's the oldest trick in the book. Take your friend's yeah, phone, act like it's you. That's true. I, I can't. I See if can't, you can match it. I can't. I, I can't. I can't do that. Do it, man. Come that's, on. That's Forrest Gump. Here. <laughs> I'll call you back, Sam. There's a fine line between Jake Hutchinson and Forrest Gump. <laughs> All right, I'll call I you back. I had back. no idea what. I had no idea what was going on. You don't know who Forrest Gump is. You don't know who Forrest Gump is. I've never watched the movie. Oh my God. I know it's a guy shrimp. How do you how have you never watch Forrest Gump? I don't know. There's a lot of pop culture. I'm busy building Dude, rods. What Forrest can I say? Gump. Look, man, I'm at the rod bench all night, all day. I got no time I'm grinding out here, trying to make rod building take it to the top. Jenny. Who? Let's let's come That's to the Forrest studio. That's Forrest Gump's girlfriend. He's always like Jenny. Jenny would love this rod building Look studio. At this. <laughs> this is where we film all of the content. The mud this hole is where mud hole live goes down. It is. I've learned a lot of tips watching your show. Well, I'm, most of them are from Chris, but <laughs> you're kind of running around. A lot of times you're like grabbing stuff from over here and over there. Or got the mullet minute or something. Yeah, Chris got, he has some good tips on there for sure. He knows what he's talking about. It's pretty cool to see it in person. It's awesome. It's, it's, it's a lot bigger than I expected. Like, I re like when you watch it, I mean, you see how big it is, but mm -hmm. I guess I never really... I always thought you were like in a little room mm -hmm. and this was like half the room, but there's a, like, there's a lot of stuff going on. Double spotted redfish. I like it. That's it. You have a ton of cool artwork in here. Yeah, man. They went all out and made it really feel like a true fishing building. Yeah, dude. It's awesome. It is very, it's a very comfortable workspace. Like this is so different than my corporate world downtown Chicago packed <laughs> cubicles together like you walk through here and there's like fishing rods sticking out every cubicle and there's tons of space very welcoming like Absolutely. it feels awesome what yeah, is this this is where you'll be staying next time you come this is the executive suites look at this one of our favorite places in here Wrong one. Later. <laughs> this is essentially a hotel room so all of our instructors when they come in do the classes you got bedrooms in here? This is literally... Like, this is literally people come and stay. People come and stay here. There's four beds, 
It's the, literally the executive suite. It's essentially a hotel for anyone who comes and stays at Mud Hole. Teach so, classes. So or, there's a, their own personal bathroom. Yep. So like anybody you guys want to stay or you could like basically use it as a hotel. Yeah, the teachers for the classes, you. How, so how many rooms like this do you have? There's another two, bedroom? Two rooms with two beds each. With a kitchen. kitchen. Couch. Power wrappers. RBS Pro G2 Power Wrapper available at mudhole.com right now. Is that that's the brand new one, isn't it? That is. That's the G2. This How awesome. long has that been out? That's been out for a month now, and it sold out almost first week. But we have really? a new order coming in soon. New batch. Dude, We're I, filming a video. I don't know that I could handle a power wrapper. It's that's, a lot to handle, but I mean, once you make that transition to a power wrapper, you'll never go back. So this is the same as the other room. Mm -hmm. Dude, this is so cool. Very cool. It's a very. It's just a very like in, inviting atmosphere. I feel like. That's what we kind of envisioned when designing it. We didn't yeah. want to make it all corporate. We wanted to keep it relaxed and just a good family feel to the company. I like it. So the rest of these are our president, our product designers. There's Celia. She's our 3D modeler. She does all the designing for prototypes and stuff. We have Anthony with the education department, accounting, HR. Well, dude, Jake, thanks, man. Thank I you for coming by. I, uh, I hope everyone enjoyed this tour of the mud hole facility. This, it's only a couple of years old, two it years. It is, about two years old, the new one. Yeah, so if you uh, happen to be down in the Orlando area, maybe thinking about building some rods, this would be a great place to swing by. They'd be uh, a good start to kind of entering into rod building. It's just one of those things. It's always easier to have somebody kind of walk you through the process, show you the components, show you there's only actually you know a few components that's truly needed to build a rod and coming to a facility like this i think is probably something that's going to put you over the edge you got to answer a phone call so we're going to end it right there thanks for watching guys nice we'll, guys uh, check in it. with you later